Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a tote bag, a Betty Boop tote bag. It's like um, Betty Boo, like with makeup and stuff. It's like a super, super cute image. Um, I already did it on an apron. And this is what it looks like, you guys. Oh my god. I can't. I'm trying to do it with one hand. But look, you guys. And I fixed up the image on uh, Photoshop because I remember on my last video, I did mention if you guys want to learn how to um, fix your images to make them nice and crisp so you aren't able to see like the... Um, Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, That's my God. Why is my stomach hurting? You guys, my hernia has been bugging me. It's like literally back again. So, I just feel like a popping noise right now. And it's really hurting and bothering me. Um... That was kind of scary. You guys, it's been like, it's been bothering me like a few hours ago. It just started to bother me and it was starting to hurt a little bit. But now it's like it made a popping noise. I don't know what the heck that's about, but hopefully I'm okay. Um, but yeah, you guys, my hernia is back. I got surgery for it in June of last year and it came back. Um, so now the surgeon was saying that he might end up having to, um, fix it a different way. So, um, to try to prevent it from coming back again if I do decide to get surgery. I had told him that I would wait just in case, um, it wouldn't hurt or whatever because it wasn't hurting at the moment. But now it's like starting to bug me a lot. Um, so my, I end up, I might just end up fixing it again. But if, hopefully, if nothing goes wrong, because he said if, the hernia pops out of my belly button try to push it back in and go to their emergency room but like what the freak like that's scary and i'm gonna be freaked out how am i gonna be able to push that thing back in i don't even want to think about it i don't even want to think about it because i think the last time i was thinking about it so much i had a dream that it actually happened um and yeah you guys my arm is getting tired from holding the phone with one hand and i have my phone stand over there oh yeah yeah but yeah, you guys, so um, so I'm going to make a tote bag, a Betty Boop one, and see how much I, um, see how much it comes out, oh my god, and see how it comes out. But like I was saying before, I um, used Photoshop to be able to um, make the image nice and crisp because when I was expanding it, it was um, becoming very blurry. Um, and you can see the pixels around the image, obviously because it's not a, deep, a 300 dpi image, so you have to convert it into that. Especially if you're doing it on a DTF printer because you guys you guys you are enlarging these images and the larger you print them out You're gonna be able to see the pixels around the image and it's also gonna give you like um, a white um, Outline I guess you want to say that's not supposed to really be there in the image But because of the pixel it's like I guess trying to read the image but it's like kind of like messed up because it's not a 300 dpi you have to convert it into that so that's why i was saying in my last video if you guys wanted to learn how to do that um to like my previous video give it 50 likes um i do have 500 and some plus subscribers so i know we can get up there to 50 likes um that's if you want to learn how to do that if you don't hey that's on you <laughs> but if you do want to learn give that last video a like and yeah it's my how to sublimation snow globe video so it's literally the last one that i uploaded um but yeah you guys i'm gonna show you guys how to do this tote bag um i might not end up like pressing it onto the tote bag today because my butt needs to go to sleep and i feel like every time that i go to sleep late it takes me a very long time to snap out of it in the morning and it's just harder for me to wake up so you guys i'm gonna go ahead and get to showing you guys um the printing of this image and then we're going to go ahead and press it on the tote bag and then i'll show you guys a whole look of the tote bag and yeah that'll be it so i will show you guys how it's printing and then um tomorrow i'll just go ahead and just press it onto the bag and then i'm gonna go ahead and you know um 
put it in the curing machine because it's already on and I just have to powder it up and put it in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that now. Sorry that I'm talking low, but I should be talking okay because I have to wake up my kids anyways. Um, I have to get them ready for school, but I decided to do this really quick because I wanted to, um, you know, I wanted to show you guys like the tote bags once they were done. So this is how this one looks like. You guys can see that there are like, that you can't see any type of pixels or anything when you enlarge it. Like that. It's all very much so like super clear. Same thing with this one. Even though this one is smaller than the other one, but you can't tell any of that that's on there. So <clears throat> I just wanted to show you guys that. And um, also if you guys can like the previous videos, if you guys want to learn how to make your images nice and crisp, if you don't, it's totally fine. Um, but also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on my videos if you find them helpful. And I am going to go now because then if not, I'm going to be late to work. And yeah, so I will talk to you guys on the next one. Bye guys.